what's your name? Uh, Alex. Okay. And this is your artwork, right? This is, uh, well, I actually made four posters up here. There's some other artists to uh, express their opinion. This is my poster up here. This one over here. This is my statement from the Park Spirit. Uh, that's what I said. That also appeared at the New York Times on Saturday, April 25th, the next day. And uh, I really feel artists make the park, especially mm -hmm. my square park, and they're a very important part. And mm -hmm. if you take them away, you're going to take away the spirit exactly. of the city and the park. And uh, you will give people less choices. Well, do you know why he's doing this? Um, his reason is what? privatize the park more. Um, the artists have the First Amendment rights, which is like a right, almost like a free speech. And uh, they hate the fact that uh, we're not paying for the space, actually. Oh, we're, okay. We're paying taxes. We have mm -hmm. taxes. We're not actually renting any space. Yeah. Uh, at one time, the artists were arrested mm -hmm. and their work was confiscated. Oh, really? And then that fight was taken over to the Supreme Court actually the case and that allows us to basically the first time the right And ever since then I have been trying to limit it in some way. So this could be like one of the ways to limit it again. Okay. Or to kind of bring corporations who can pay any amount mm -hmm. for the space okay. to rent it. Mm. Okay. And have you like do you have um Alright, with other themes, or is this is what you're doing yes, right this now? Is my work right over here. Oh, right uh, over here. Oh, okay. Bigger than on location. Usually, with me standing up and working, this is 17th and Broadway, New Square. That's okay. right over here. <laughs> okay. uh, that corner where the pet food store is. <laughs> oh, okay. And, uh, usually, I like to do everything spontaneously, and there's never like a real plan of action. And, uh, so you. You just come out with your... I just come out, I stand up uh -huh. with my easel, my oil pastel, and uh -huh. I start to work. Oh, nice. Wow. And then with these, the left side of the table, these are my uh, imagination pieces. Okay, nice. And with those, I use oil pastels, markers, acrylics, and collage. Okay. Like spray. Do you have a... Usually on the back of my frame pieces, whoever buys them, mm -hmm. I also do like personal sketches. This is where I will actually show how I create. Oh, okay. And the viewer will actually get to see what I mean by doing art spontaneously. Oh, okay. And, uh, it's all about keeping that childlike kind of innocence in a real serious way. And, uh, okay. Having fun in this space. Absolutely. Have you yeah. seen the big piece on the side? It's really cool. This, this one? The one oh. right there. Alright, so I see a face here. It says he is sleeping. Okay. And what is this piece? What is the main point of this piece? Uh, well, it's very much like the real life, like in square. You have all these things happening at the same time. Uh, you have people who are underneath the subway, mm -hmm. people above walking, people inside the cars, people shopping, mm -hmm. all of that coming together. So I'm uh, trying to show that in a visual way. Oh, oh, you're showing like all these people coming together, how, yeah, I mean, it's like, like this space. Life. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, um, I see it's you like have. playing jazz, it's like getting yeah. a moment. Mm -hmm. And did you um, go to school for this? Yes. Okay. Um, I went to a school of visual arts for four years. So I studied oh, okay. illustration field. And mm -hmm. uh, I also worked with a teacher drawing on location for two years very intensely, which explained why the visual arts so over here. Mm -hmm. And um, even took art therapy from NYU as well. And mm -hmm. right now I also teach art and work with seniors. Oh, you teach? Okay, great. And I create different art projects for them from Monday to Friday. And, and so I come up here. And what school did you say that you teach? Um, I teach in uh, Amsterdam Adult Daycare Center for Seniors. They're about 65 to 90 years old. Oh, age. okay. And you basically teach them what you do? Well, it's kind of hard to do what I do, but I create art projects for them, which they could do themselves. Oh, okay. A lot of the things hands-on. 
okay. sculptural things. Yeah. Um, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. And one more thing. What advice would you give someone who knows that they want to go into art, but they're not exactly like sure, like if they know they want a certain uh, avenue to go into? Do you have like any advice? <laughs> well, I mean, the art you have to be very strong what you want to do. I mean, for mm -hmm. me, it was art, only art. It was nothing else. Okay. And, uh, you really have to take it very seriously because mm -hmm. uh, it's not an easy field. Absolutely. So you have to do it with passion. Mm -hmm. you really just and that's really what you want to do. You just can't say you want to do it. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. Absolutely. And do you have a business card? Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right. Bye -bye. Okay. So what's your name? <laughs> My name is Robert Letterman. I'm the president of Artist. That's uh -huh. Artist's response to illegal state tactics. That's the street artist group. Okay. And what is your, what is the um, theme of your artwork? Well, I have quite a few themes, but the theme that I'm out here presenting is the theme of artist rights. Okay. Artist First Amendment rights. Oh, okay. Uh, I won seven different federal lawsuits about that. Mm -hmm. That's why artists are allowed to sell on the street and in parks. Many other artists also were in those lawsuits. Oh, okay. And we're struggling here again against Mayor Bloomberg and the park commissioner. We're yeah. trying to get all the artists out of the parks so that they can put corporate uh, displays in here for a lot of money and privatize all of these public spaces. Oh, okay. All right. So this is his artwork that we're looking at. And so we see like here you have um wait. Yeah, click and click this time. Okay, that's interesting. And what is this over here? I see it's about jazz. And how long have you been doing this? 46 years. Oh, wow. Great. And did you go to school for art? This is the school I went to. You're in it right now. <laughs> We're Street, all... Streets of New York City. Nice. So you were self-taught. Yes. Great. And how did you get... Uh, how did you get motivation to do this? You always did you always love art? I've been selling my art on the streets since I'm twelve years old. Oh wow. I was I was collecting movies back in the sixties. Mm -hmm. And I my allowance was a dollar fifty a week. Oh wow. Movies cost fifteen dollars. So I said, What can I do to make fifteen dollars quick? And I had some watercolors I'd made, I put them out on the sidewalk, and I sold them right away. Wow. And I had forty-five dollars. Wow. So let me ask you this, like they say, you know, they talk about like starving artists and things like that. So basically, artists can make money from what they're doing. Artists who sell on the street generally make some kind of living. They're not getting rich, mm -hmm. but they can support themselves. They don't have to be on welfare. Mm -hmm. They don't have to sell crack. Exactly. Yeah. It's a good deal. And nice. it's, a, it's a service to the public. It's mm -hmm. educational. It's entertaining. We're actually more entertaining than most of what's on TV. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just in the way that YouTube is replacing TV. <laughs> this is the original form of YouTube. Absolutely. Okay. So, like, when you were like, uh, when you were first starting out and stuff like that, what was your themes? What were some of your themes? Same themes. People, okay. jazz, pretty girls. <laughs> Elephants climbing a mountain. Nice. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Like, this is great. Thank you so much. Alrighty. And have a great day. Yeah.